Hello everyone. Welcome to something a little bit different today. We're going to be taking a look at Peglin, an early access game. So much like my video on Babel Royale from earlier in the year, we're going to just take uh, a chance to have a, a quick run through a game that's currently in development as of this year. Uh, this was uh, released in early access in April this year, I believe. So let's, let's have a little look and see what's going on here. So this is Peglin. This is kind of a combination of Peggle and deck building, um, I guess, kind of strategy RPG? It kind of touches on all those things anyway. Um, so our, our options here, speaking of the demo version, I'll play. This should say Crucible, I believe. I think this is our first bug. Um, the very first time I loaded the game up, it did in fact say, say Crucible in English. Um, I'm not sure what it currently says. Um, but this, this describes what this is. It's kind of a challenge mode that you can unlock after one complete run through the, the main game. Or one, yeah, one attempted run through the main game. And it should increase in difficulty as it goes along. I believe the description will appear on screen here. Um, we don't think we've got a lot of options that we can change. I will make sure that our uh, our audio is uh, acceptable uh, before I put the video out. So that should that should be okay. Um, and let's have a look at the so the folks who made this are, are under the name of Red Nexus Games, and we'll just quickly run through their names here. Um, it will scroll itself very quickly. So all these folks have contributed. Slow down there, and then uh, very nicely you can scroll back up again. So if you want to take a closer look at look at the makers, you can. There we go. So I have these folks to thank for this game. So shall I, let me, sh without further ado, let me show you what this is like. I think that that's the easiest way to uh, to demonstrate. So you see that the map has been revealed as there. So this is a, I didn't mention, it's also a roguelike. I think that's a fairly accurate way of describing it as well. So you start the run. Uh, the main gameplay is this peggle kind of uh, bouncing around pegs. So kind of like uh, Pachinko, Bagatelle, things like that. Uh, the, uh, if, you're, if you're from the UK, the, uh, the special, special kind of arcade machines and seaside resorts, you know the kind of things. Um, so you're kind of bouncing uh, rocks around um, in these structures and each structure is different and usually thematic to whatever it is you're fighting. So that on the surface level you're doing kind of an R, a turn-based uh, kind of a JRPG really uh, battle with a variety of monsters. Um, your ammunition is a series of rocks or orbs. Um, so you start off with three rocks and one dag orb. So uh, they do different kinds of attacks depending on what they are. So there's like a, uh, a value for normal damage and for critical damage, which is the yellow exclamation mark uh, pegs that you can bump into. So uh, most pegs, as we bump into them, will disappear. Some are a bit more durable than others, and there are ways you can affect those qualities as well as you play, you gain uh, new stones and orbs. Uh, because that's the kind of the deck building part of what we're doing. So I'll just take a turn and we'll go from there. So uh, I find the spider web structure pretty pretty difficult to navigate because what you re what I, I find I really want to get are the uh, the bombs. So you'll see the little bombs around. Oh, we just got one. It takes conventionally it takes one strike of a bomb to light it and a second strike to uh, ignite it, and that does a blanket 50 damage to every enemy that is currently visible and on top of the screen whether they're on the ground or in the air. Um, so that's a really helpful thing to get, especially when you're faced with a, a large collection of enemies like this. Um, and it kind of how well you can do kind of depends on the enemy type, whether it has um, a ranged attack or not. The spiders do, they, they're very annoying and they lob little blocks at you. So this is our dag mob. Um, so Dag Orb does less damage than stones um, when it hits the normal pegs, but does far greater damage when it hits the critical pegs. I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to get this to a critical peg. We'll just take a chance, see what happens. 
Uh, so you can see the score going up there. And then, ooh, we go, we've got a bomb, that's good. So the total of that is applied after any bomb attacks to usually the nearest enemy at a ground level. That's what that usually happens. And then, if we're successful, we sometimes get a chance of upgrading an orb or healing. Uh, but this time we get a chance to get a new orb. So let's see what there is here. Nosforbatu? Nosfor I think it works better, uh, scans better uh, in text than it does trying to say it out loud. So this one heals you and damages target enemies for one times the amount healed. Deals 15 damage to self when fired. Self damage increases by 7 this battle. I'm not quite sure what the wording of that, but I tend to avoid any uh, of these uh, uh, special uh, power-ups that uh, detract from your own health, because it's kind of hard enough to get your health back, I find. Uh, Bramble is kind of good, but I, I haven't really found many uses uh, for it to really, really be effective. So it buys Bramble 2 on here. So somebody's kind of rooted to the spot, I think. Yeah. Says their brambled enemies are unable to move, but enemies that move through them take damage. So, theoretically, that's useful, but I found there aren't that many enemies. So, you need a situation where there are lots of enemies that are moving, um, and that's not always the case. Um, we're almost doing six damage per bramble level to passing enemies. So, it's kind of highly conditional that one. So, I tend to avoid that one. Doctor deals no damage, but heals you for each peg hit removed from the deck after it is used. So if you play it right, that could be a good burst of healing. Um, I think of the three, I'm going to take that one. Um, and then I need to decide where to go. So let's have a look at our map again. So if I, uh, so two options down here. I mean, I tend not to use the inventory very much actually. Option very, I tend not to use the op inventory option very much actually. Uh, but that does let you have a look at the, the properties of everything that's in your satchel, uh, which is very handy. And then the other one is the map down here. So we get uh, like a scroll type view of this um, kind of limited tree that takes us from where we start to the big boss at the end. I did in fact think this was a seal until I encountered it. Um, it's a mole, it's a mole boss. And um, in this demo version, anyway, going through this woodland area, there are only two bosses, it's either this mole or a, um, a giant slime. I find the giant slime very difficult and I find the, when I get to the mole, um, very easy actually. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how this goes and uh, if we get there then I can kind of show you the techniques I find useful for that. There's always in the middle, there's always a selection of four treasure chests where we can pick up relics that give us kind of a, a various different kind of boost. Um, you also get those from defeating a uh, kind of a tougher boss, these red skull and crossbones. Um, I think that's the only one on the... No, no, there's one down there. I'm kind of tempted to stick to the right hand path. Yeah, which will give us some encounters uh, with with uh, combat, some guaranteed combat encounters. And these question mark ones can be a variety of different things, um, which sometimes have beneficial and not so beneficial effects. Um, it can also be combat counters, can also be treasure chests sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and head right if I can. So one of the uh, interesting features is once you've finished the level, you then usually have to navigate what's left of the pegs to try and get to the uh, get, go in the direction that you wish to. And it's not always as easy as you might think. If you land in the flames, you take two damage. Uh, I'm going to try again. And I think that'll do it. Yeah, there we go. Got right. Right. Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh, okay. You stumble upon a mysterious altar. You feel yourself pulled toward it. As you near it, you realise you are holding out potential offerings, one orb in each hand. Now, I think I've played the demo enough to have seen all of these random encounters now. Um, I haven't, certainly haven't seen a new one for a while. So I know that um, whatever one you choose to put on the altar, the other one is levelled up. Um, so unfortunately in this case, the randomization hasn't picked us a, uh, a more powerful or more interesting thing to power up than a stone. So I'll just put one stone up there, and we'll, at least we'll get a slightly more um, slightly more powerful stone. So our uh, our score with that stone will be higher, which is good. And then we'll we'll stay right, and we will uh, fight something else. 
we'll see if there's some other enemy types. Now this looks like a slime one. Now you may uh, you may remember that uh, this is a one use only doctor orb. We don't really need it now. So we've got 95 out of 100 health. So that's a good time to show this uh, kind of skip mechanic. So you can choose to uh, pass over one of your orbs or stones by clicking on the trash can there. And um, you can only do that once. Um, I mean, sorry, you can't do it two times consecutively. That's what I mean. So that um, I can't now uh, get rid of this stone. I have to. You have to play the stone. So you have to think. Sometimes there are two things that you might want to skip thrown up together next to each other in the order. You might have to think which one you'd rather play and which one you'd rather keep. Um, there are relics you can get that expand the amount that you can discard, uh, but that will that will turn up next round. So it'll keep turning up every round until I until I play that one. I think if I level it up, I might even be able to use it uh, multiple times, which would be amazing. So I think we're well, covered most of the ground now. So if I can get to any of these ones, it'll be critical ones. It'd be very good for leveling up my score. And if I hit any of the R's, the green R's circles, that resets the entire board. I don't think I've mentioned that before. But the um, kind of the most useful thing in this setup you can see the, uh, the pegs are kind of making the shape of little slimes is to get inside where all these lovely bombs are um, because once you start setting those off it's, um, it's pretty easy to clear this level as the uh, little slimes only have 60 health um, so if you can get as many as possible on screen then you've got a good chance of uh, getting them with just two bombs in the same round There you go, so you can see my stone's building up quite a good uh, critical score by itself there. So the bomb takes care of whatever it can, and then the stone takes the, uh, the next nearest. Okay, well let's give this dag orb a go. Let's get, we can get it to a critical straight away, so that's really good. We'll just see if we can build up any particular score. No, it tends to fly a lot straighter than the, the conventional stones or orbs, so it is a bit tricky to get a high score with that one. It's not the most useful, I find. Okay, so our scroll is empty on the right there, so I don't think any more slimes are now going to turn up. So if we see if we can get some, uh, I think we've done it actually. If we can get some of those explosions to happen, we'll probably take them all out in one go. Yeah, we did, brilliant. Um, health is good, so I'm not going to heal, I'm going to upgrade more. Let's, well, let's see what happens, because it will tell you what happens. So, Dr. Orb, if I upgrade it, it heals for each pick it and can only be used once per battle. So that's amazingly more useful. So I'm gonna upgrade that. So it's not a, not a consumable, it's just limited. Which is fantastic. Uh, I mean, I wonder if, if you live up to number three, I wonder if you can just use it every round. Is that amazing? Um, we're gonna go ahead and fight, so there we go. I, mean, I think it's definitely worth saying that there's some adorable uh, pixel art animations for the um, like the main the main piglin character and the, the cabans. It's usually very good. So I'm going to skip the harp because we don't really need that right now. I can get my dagger over there. Hang anyway, on, this is exactly the same encounter we just had. That does happen sometimes. Okay, we'll try and. Fortunately, there's a. Slime got right up to us there. We can take that one, that would be happy. No, we can't, it's gonna have one health left, okay. Because they do these red slimes with swords do take a do, do a fair whack of damage. Okay, now that should help. So we've got one bomb and then a fair chunk of damage. Oh they're gonna do another something there. Couch. Okay, I think everybody is out, bats and slimes. So let's uh, try to get some of these bombs going. If we, yeah, I think we've done it. That should take everybody out. Hooray! Um, 85 at 100 for health. I still think we're okay, so I'm going to risk upgrading the uh, top top again. Be, okay, so they're going to be used once per battle, but persist two, which means in this case that. Um, there's kind of a stack of two of them, um, so when it appears, you'll be able to do it twice. Um, 
which is uh, not so helpful, but um, they're pretty good. Um, and I think level three is the highest any orb stone can get. Um, so we've maxed that one out already. Okay, hopefully this won't be a good combat. Uh, it's a swipe swipe again. I mean, this does happen sometimes. I do find the um, kind of little text adventure uh, segments where you get a little choice between something to be more interesting uh, sometimes in the battles. It's certainly nice to have a mix of them. Uh, let's uh, not use the doctor right now. Let's just do let's do some damage if we can. So it's worth saying as well as um, using bombs to do damage to uh, multiple enemies. Uh, there are different types of orbs that do that as well, um, which can be really helpful. Hopefully we'll get to see some more new orbs as well in this run, so I can uh, show off some of those. Okay. Um, yeah, when there's a big gang of uh, big gang of enemies like this, it does start to feel a little unfair after a while, but. Hopefully if we can keep doing consistent damage it won't, won't feel too uh, dispiriting. Lovely, yeah, you can stop throwing rocks at me now, thanks. Right, let's see what we can do here. That was entirely not, entirely not what I hoped to happen. So, do I get it? And then whacked by a green slime, probably. Or is it already whacked me? I don't know. Um, so now is probably a good time to do the heal. I think there's enough, yeah, there's definitely enough pigs around that we can, uh, can we get a good heal off here. Okay, yeah that's pretty good. And then with its um, stack we get to do it again. Yeah, here we go. So, quite get to that. Oh, hello. I don't think that bomb count. Does that bomb count? It does, amazing, okay. Didn't realise that, that's, that's really handy actually. Because I know it doesn't do damage by itself, but it's um, very useful to know that it can be used to set bombs off. Okay, so we've just got two of these uh, very annoying spiders to take care of. So that's, uh, unfortunately, sometimes the roof where is at the position of the uh, crits and the refresh pegs is entirely randomised. Um, sometimes the refreshes end up in a really awkward position and they can be very hard to reach. Um, so I do find sometimes I'm kind of stuck in a situation where there's not many pegs, but the few that there are just blocking the refresh, so I'm wasting pegs to some extent. If we get another Doctor, doctor Orb here, we could get the Swart Orb. I do quite like this one. So this upgrades each peg it hits for plus one damage. It can only be used once per battle. Um, and as you upgrade that, I think you can use it multiple times, and then it does it adds more damage as well. So that's I've I don't think I've managed to get the combo yet. But there's another ball that uh, is kind of larger, pinkish I think, and uh, and hits multiple times. So it counts like for two times or three times or four times depending on how you build up for each one it hits. So I'm kind of dreaming of the situation where I get the swallow orb and that one. I'm going to get the swallow orb because uh, I like it. Okay, I've only got one place to go. Let's go fight somebody <laughs> for a change. Okay, so it should be a, a regular, regular enemy. Ooh, okay, at least it's the spiral one this time, which is pretty nifty. I'm gonna pass on the part one. Um, this would be a good, really good place to get healing, but I don't really need it right now. Okay, so let's kind of try and, oh, you know what? So my first, uh, my f sometimes uh, you start with no enemies actually in sight. So um, the first makes you waste the first turn. So that probably wasn't my best use of those uh, resources, but yeah, I did, didn't really lose any. Okay, so this one, yeah, I'll, I'll use this one then. There. 
it's hard not to hit a good range when it's this, this spiral shape. So when that next refreshes the board, it will be a little more potent. Set our stones out. So we're good. Okay, so we're just kind of chipping away at these these slimes at the moment. I'm going to get that. Oh yeah, please go over here. So there's more interesting stuff here for you. Thank you. I need to get to a refreshed soon as I'm running out of places to go. I mean, luckily, these are slimes who uh, can't do any damage to me yet. Alright, let's try. Yes, that did it. There you go, so that shows kind of the power of, um, of a good use of that, um, that dagger. Okay, um, let's get this critical. I think this should hopefully uh, make pretty good use of this there. We get it, definitely does. Okay, that wiped out one in one go, which is great. So the now these slimes next to me, they're going to be doing a bit of damage. I can't remember which slimes there are, but there are certain ones where the um, the second in rank can just lob a bit of slime and do some damage as well, which is highly inconvenient. I don't know if we're going to get this. Um, this is such a hard bomb to get. Okay, I think we do a good chunk of damage there, though. Yeah, you go slobbing slimes. Um, I'm going to not use that yet. Let's do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is good. This is. I don't think we'll, we'll quite take it out, unfortunately. It's a shame. We can and get, probably get a stone to the refresh, I think. Okay, that helps. Come on, set that bomb off. Okay, 65 is great. Um, do I need to heal? You know what? It's probably not a bad idea to heal. Let's give it a go. And we know we can set bombs off it, so that's also pretty handy. Probably um, refresh the board as well. Okay. Yes! Okay, that's good. So we've, yeah, healed a lot more than it's going to do damage to us. We're doing some bomb damage as well. So I think that's a pretty good deployment of that. Let's see if we can get something from here. So we need 60. We're doing it well actually. 46 is pretty good. Okay, let's just try and uh, I'll refresh the level oh, 8. Okay, we're going to take at least one more go. You know what, let's head for here. And 12, yeah, we've done it. Great, okay. With 80 health remaining, not bad. Okay, let's upgrade this one. So, um, yeah, so it removes the restriction that can only use once per battle, so it will reset every time we restock our, um, our satchel, which is really good. But am I still going to head right? What do you think? Yeah, let's head right. So we can see a relic, definitely get a relic. And then we'll get one conventional battle, uh, a mystery. And then we can do one of these, these harder, harder battles as well. Hopefully, we get three. There we go. Phew, I've been lucky with my navigation this time. Um, sometimes it, it, it really doesn't go where you think it's going to go. Got bad cheese! Uh, deals 15 damage to all enemies when reloading. That's pretty good. Also, helpful, there's one that negates any damage that they would do to you in. Um, which is really helpful because otherwise they get a free turn. Um, well, that's happening, which is not, not great. Oh, okay, this one. So we haven't seen this one yet. I do kind of like this one. It's The bombs are really hard to get to, though. So the, the bombs are hidden the way down here. It's very hard to reliably hit the uh, pegs away from around them. But what is cool is that you can usually do this little trick to get a pretty high score for that, which is nice. And refreshes tend to be around here or on the spiral itself, which um, helps keep helps to maintain this, uh, this kind of pattern of 
and scoring, which is good. We go, we united a bot, that's that's good, that's step one. Okay, and then we've got the daggle, slightly less helpful. Flying all over the place. Oh, we refreshed it, okay, now we might do some damage. That's not bad, you know. Whatever about, which I always appreciate. The um the plants are a bit annoying is that I think they stay stationary. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, but they do insist on uh, throwing seeds at you from wherever they are. I'm gonna decline to use the health one at this point. I think also decline to use oh I can't decline to use this one. But uh it will just return to me, so that's good. Yay, so that damage just got done to them as it was a, as a refresh, which is good. Um, this one again, I'm gonna... Oh, if I pass over it, then I can't pass over it. Okay, I have to use this one again. Which is not... Uh, yeah, I've refreshed. Ah, uh, okay, no. I take it all back, that was a perfect good strategy. And now I can decline to use the Dr. Orb. And then I'll try and use the uh, Dag Orb here to do a little bit more. Hey, there you go. That turned out pretty well. Yes, thank you. Um, we'll do this little thing, because that will... should allow us to get a pretty good score. Lovely. Yeah, we're not doing so bad, I don't think. Um, shall I be... Sure. I don't think we're going to get a very good score with this one. Yeah. That's alright. Yes, yes, keep lobbing it's fine. Right. Yeah, this is good. Okay, 102. It's gonna take our slide for sure. Um Doctor. I mean I have less than half health, so this is really a... Oh and I got the pop as well, fantastic. Okay, that helped. Okay, look at that annoying plant. We got 35. Okay, that was a really good use of it. Okay, so then I will then bobble it down here as well. Um, that's pretty good. Okay, um, now I'll do 30 so refresh. I don't think the dag orb's gonna get there, but I should put a little bit off. Maybe we can use this to do the rest of the damage. I don't think, um, if you get more than one critical, I don't think it stacks unless you've got a specific um, relic or, or other power up that makes use of that. Okay, so we've got another dag orb on offer, we've got another stone on offer. Not really keen to take you of those, but we have one of my faves, the bold orb, um, which is a big boulder that rolls uh, through all enemies that are ground level. Um, so let's get that. And then let's head into mystery. Seemingly nowhere, an inferno ignites in a circle around you. That was hard to say. There are two fireballs bouncing and circling around each other in the center of the ring. So I can grab the fireballs, plus two fireballs minus 10 HP. So that actually, in this option, it's very explicit about what the, what the outcome will be. Um, fireballs, I don't find that useful because each time you use one, you do a bit of damage to yourself. So I'm gonna uh, take the least damaging option to me, which is to dash through the flames for. A loss of 4 HP. You dash bravely through the flames. You're a little singed, but otherwise unscathed. And it's really nice uh, colour coding kind of uh, things, such as where a ball, a particular ball or orb, has a colour, um, then it will reflect that in the colour of the text. And uh, when you're a little singed, so uh, when you lose health, generally that's really great. Which is kind of a nice visual aid as well to, to what's going on. Okay, let's find what we've got here. Oh, okay, I haven't seen this one for a little bit. So this um, kind of mini-boss is going to be a large slime, which will appear after two more red slimes have turned up as well. Um, this is quite hard, this is quite a hard shape to navigate, I find. Take wise, because you end up falling down the sides, which is quite often, there's not a lot, well, there's not a lot there. Um, you kind of want to get those, I kind of want to get those um, 
bombs igniting, but obviously when there's as many the enemies are on screen as possible. Should we? Yeah, sure. Let's... Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, this is good. So, when you set a bomb off, it does kind of have explosive force as well, which sometimes helps propel your left. Hey, that wasn't too bad. So, we got rid of all the other signs. Now we're just uh, waiting for this one to reach us. I'm going to pass on the dock door. Let's chuck out a bomb door, um, which is kind of less useful. Now as there's only one in, but still fun, still fun to roll now. Okay, we'll try. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad for that door. Alright, oh, kind of need to refresh. Let's lock this over here. Brilliant. This should be a little better. Forty-six. That's not bad. Okay, we've got two, five, seven. Shame we didn't bounce back more on the other side. Yeah, that's all. That's all that my lesson today. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try down here. That should get it. Hopefully, contact quite a few things. Get the doctor dagger, dagger, dagger. I can't what's called now. Uh, into the crib. Um. Well, all right, so we've got all our eggs back, so we should be able to do a reasonable chunk of damage. It's just kind of war of attrition at this point, really. We are doing more damage to it than it's doing to us, so that's good. Um, I think a little bit of health, probably, probably good now. Probably good. That's pretty good. I get another go, so let's try. Is that good? That might be good. If it can kind of refresh things as well, that might. Yeah, there you go. So each time it was. Oh, okay. Got two. It got two hands. Never mind. So, good news when you um, use this more than once, uh, it does stack. So if you've already um, increased the damage of a peg, um, it. Um, Stays increased and increases more. Okay, you're just kind, of, just kind of chipping away at this point, but I don't know if we get a good run, we might do some more damage. Oh, okay, 44, that's that's pretty good. Um, Bold Orb, usually, it always doesn't end up down a gun, it's pretty good at hitting a lot of things, so. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better ball pieces, I'd say. There we go. Um, so I'm definitely going to choose to hit this one because we're uh, doing too great. And we get a choice of a relic, which is nice. Alchemist Cookbook. Pigs have a 7% chance to refresh into bombs, but bombs deal minus 15 damage. Oh. Well, that's not great. So we do 35 damage. And a power glove, attacks gain plus one plus one. Oh, well, that's no. Hey, we made it to the mole. Amazing. I, I, some runs really aren't this, uh, aren't this gentle. So, I'm really happy about that. Okay, should we stop some healing? I think that's not a bad idea, actually. So, one thing uh, I haven't mentioned actually is that you can choose a you can have a selected target. So while some attacks will only ever hit the a target nearest to you, um, some are active on a selected target. Um, for some reason in the first round of this you can't seem to select a target. Um, but I will select the mole as soon as I'm able because this tree in the middle blocks all attacks and it has very high health as you can see. So that's kind of the uh, strategic challenge of this one. Is that the mole is sometimes behind the tree, uh, occasionally in front of it when it's come up to attack you. Uh, I'm going to take some cute to heal, and, and this, should, this should be pretty effective, I think, because so there's lots of things to hit around here. Oh, amazing, 69! That's the nicest health. Um, can I skip the second part of this one? I can, okay. 
yeah, I'll do that because it wouldn't have really availed it much. And then we'll um, just see what damage we can do with this. We can get the bomb as well. I think that would be quite cool. We did a refresh, which is good. Okay, let's select them all. Um, and then let's see if we can head over here somewhere and get to a crit. That would be helpful. I was kind of wanting to go there, but we can get the bomb back here. That's good. Yeah, so I find the um, some of the shapes uh, for the for the kind of narrative sections um, are really unhelpful um, and definitely do make uh, combat more challenging. But this one I find generally quite helpful because it's um, there are a lot of surfaces to hit, um, kind of a lot of self-contained surfaces as well. So like these three bubbles of the the um, foliage of the trees, um, really actually very good at. Um, let you build up a score. So yeah, some of these plants come out from time to time as well. But if you can um, get some high scores, then uh, generally not too much trouble. Okay, bold orb. Let's send the bold orb off around here. See what happens. Right, we've got a bomb, so that's good. That hit everybody. Um, I think I'm a little underpowered compared to other runs where I've faced them all. Definitely has some more powerful uh, target attacks and kind of all enemy attacks. So that's kind of a shame. Same more that more of our random encounters weren't, uh, weren't offering kind of relics. But never mind, that's, that's how things go. Okay, that was great, but we'll take a little bit of damage out of both of them. I kind of need a reset right about now. Reset is actually a moment, not that thing. Yoch. Okay, uh, so let's get let's get this reset. Go. Okay, that's not at all. Do you want to know a critical thing? Right, so I'm gonna try and get some of these other bombs because I haven't really made good use of those yet. Let's try and get them here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, if you can get down one of these, uh, one of these little sections, they're really good as well. <gasps> oh, hello! A bomb just regenerated. Do I have an ability that would regenerate bombs? Hmm. Not that I was aware of. Okay, that, that was a good one. Okay, this. Yes, okay, that was two bombs. So that's gonna get the mold down to almost 100. I'm on 51, which actually is pretty promising. This can. Oh, okay, this is good. So that was a reasonable crit and. Oh, 16 health. Okay, I'm doing really well. Didn't even make it, folks. Okay, so let's just go for this bot because that will do the job if we can set that off. Bomb and pass the monster down to one now. Okay, this does it. Oh, what's that hole? Okay, great. So, this is um, it's kind of as far as the demo will take us, but that was a successful run, which is kind of more than I was expecting, to be honest. So, we're off with the brown ball again, the NOS 4 bar 2. That's got to be a how, how's a better way to say that? NOS 4 or 2? NOS 4. Yeah. Uh, that make more sense. Uh, an orbalis. So that kind of does like a big crunch down in one place. So if you've got a flying enemy above a uh, ground based enemy, um, you can hit both. Um, and that does get quite powerful as it's um, uh, based on how many stones in your deck. So there are options to pick up more stones as well. Um, so you can kind of power that up. Um, I'm not really too fast about any of them, but I'll take the orbalis um, if I was going to play on. And then we get a relic for having finished the first um, first area. So the Matryoshka shell, um, every shot has multiple ones, so it will um, split into two. The attacks get minus two, minus two. So that's not so helpful, really. I don't think I'll balance. A kinetic meteorite, every four pegs hits, every four pegs hit, provide explosive force. That's probably helpful. That will help propel the uh, stuff around. Curse mask. 
Well, it's actually sure what the curse mask does. It seems to mirror whatever the last is, uh, thing is you looked at. So there you go. I think you duplicate stuff. I'm kind of I'd be wary of that. I don't think I've ever had the chance to get it in the course of play. I think it turns up kind of at the end. Uh, but I'd go for kinetic meteor. I think if I was continuing here, and then we get this nice you did it screen. Or it's complete. Um, it tells you about the early access. So that's kind of the end of our end of a run there. So um, I found it may be maybe intentional. It may be a bug in the demo. But if I were to try another round now, I'd probably be unlikely to um, be able to start it. It will load up the first battle, um, but the first stone won't load. Um, so you kind of have to quit out, and then if you go back in, you can have another go. And now I've done a run of the main. Um, the main game. I can have a go at the crucible, um, and for I think for having got to the boss, whether I defeated it or not, it offers you a relic right at the start, which could be really helpful because you can get things like um, plus 15 health from the start, um, and there's all sorts of all sorts of really good stuff in there. So I find this a really um, a really interesting little game. I kind of, as I've said elsewhere, I, I'm not really a fan of of combat games in general. It's probably one of my least favorite things about RPGs, for example. But I, I do kind of like it when it's um, it's kind of the story frame for something more abstract, like this, essentially just playing Peggle, um, but with a um, kind of a, a deck of different kind of balls. Um, I really like that. I really like the strategy. Um, it's kind of a puzzle kind of strategy. There's a bit of randomness, um, but that spices things up a bit. It certainly seizes on my my brain. My brain wants to keep um, having another go. Um, so I find it. Um, quite compelling. Um, I do have to tell myself to stop every now and again. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this would be as a as a full game. Um, hopefully there'll be um, a little bit more depth. I mean, I don't really need like too much overt story, really. I'm quite happy that it just kind of throws you in and what happens is, is the story. Um, but maybe a little bit of, um, a little bit perhaps more integration of the, the puzzle and story elements. I think sometimes the, um, there's a really good idea to theme the, the peg shapes to what's happening on screen, but sometimes the different levels don't really match up because what should be kind of a hopefully an easier starting setup can be really difficult. With limited uh, resources, some of the really uh, scanty ones, uh, where there's not much to bounce off, are really difficult. But I guess that's kind of the nature of a, of a rogue like anyway. Um, yeah, so nothing will be saved between runs. So I've done one run. Nothing that I had in that run will, will have carried over. Um, but yeah, I've got the chance of being offered a relic at the start of my next run, having got as far as I did, which is quite a nice, quite a nice little compromise. I think over multiple stages, in multiple areas, I think it'd be quite a challenging game. Yeah, I'm kind of the collector part of me just wants to get all the orbs really and have all the power. So yeah, uh, this is a game I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it develops and you never know, it might turn up as a, as a let's play series here at some point. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've um, enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to um, check out Playthrough for yourself, I'll put a link to the developer's website in the description. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, then please feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, please like this one, leave a comment if you'd like to help boost it a little bit and if you've got anything you'd like to share. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.